Hi everyone, I'm Jacob from House to House Studios and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to track motion with Adobe After Effects. Okay, we'll get straight into this. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to get your footage and your effect. So, effect, okay. Oh. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to get your footage and make a composition. Like, so it's the composition's the exact same size as the footage. Okay, so now you get your effect and put it in. And make sure you put your effect on top on top of your footage to, so that um you can see it. And okay, so now you go to layer up the top here and click new null object, and you don't really need to do anything to that. Okay, so if you haven't yet done it, um you want to get your tracker bar thing here, and if you haven't, if it's not there, go to window and tracker just here, and it should be there. Um, no trigger. Okay, now go to your footage and click track motion. So now these two little boxes should come up with a little um, plus in the middle. Okay, so go to where you want your effect to start. And I want it to go about here. Okay, so now you drag. Yep, okay. Now get your. Yeah, okay, hold um, on. Now get your um, two boxes to go to, like it has to be a spot that isn't blurred or um, it has to be clear and for the whole time the effect, for the whole time when you're going to track it, can't, nothing can go past it. Okay, that's good. Um, and these two boxes, if you don't know, the more if the more bigger you have them, the more it will track easier, but the thing is if... It sort of makes your c computer um, go a bit slower. Okay, so now you got to track the motion. You can do this by either clicking play or um, frame by frame. I tend to do frame by frame because it, for some reason, doesn't stuff up as much. But just for this, I'll do play because I know this works. Okay, so as you can see, it is tracking it as it is doing it really well. Okay. Okay, stop. Okay, and then you, if you if it's all good, like all see all these keyframes are all in line, right? Click apply and click OK. So once you've done that, you want to get your effect and put it where where you want it to, when you want the effect to start. And then I've got to key it. I oh, know. I'm just a bit laggy there. Alright. Now, get your effect where you want it to be. It's pretty... This is pretty good. Um, I have to make it a bit smaller. Okay. And once you've done that, parent your effect to the null object. And then now the effect is, tr like, using the tracker. Using the track to motion. Okay. So it should look a bit like this, and the explosion tracks onto the grass. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's all good. Okay. Hope you enjoyed watching, and please subscribe to House to House Minis and House to House Studios. I'm Jacob, and thanks for watching. Make sure to check out this website because it will have all the tutorial project files.